Yo, Diablo 4 right around the corner, and I just want to talk about my plans for Diablo 4 launch, as well as my path I'm going to take while I'm playing Diablo 4. So first of all, let's start off with like the real life stuff. I still PTO from work, so I got paid time off for June 2nd, um, and then obviously it's the weekend, and then the Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, so all the way to June 7th. And I believe I'm going to go to work early on June 1st and so I can leave work early so I can start streaming on twitch.tv slash Vincente. Some Diablo 4, probably going to start a little earlier, maybe like 3.30ish uh, Pacific time. And since the server is open at 4 p.m. Pacific time, that is what I'm going to aim for. So I'm going to start a little bit early just so I can like ease my way into it. And um, I guess from this week on, I'm going to try to work out as much as I can. I'm taking a break from streaming until Diablo 4 so I can actually work out hard since I'm going to be sitting my butt off most of the week just playing Diablo 4. So um, just going to work out, do a lot of leg day, uh, push-ups, sit-ups, all that stuff. And then also I need to prep my food stuff. So I might do some meal prep. And if I have some Uber Eats, like 40% off coupon, I'll probably do that. And I'll probably go out beforehand and buy some food or some takeout like the day before or something. Or just buy a bunch of food, put it in the fridge. <laughs> so, in terms of... Oh yeah, and I'm also going to like grab a bunch of water. I'm going to put it over there. We're near my mini fridge and stuff like that. Just going to drink water. I don't know. Maybe I'll get some Gatorade or some Red Bull. I don't know. But most of... I'm just going to stick with water for save calories best drink right <laughs> so in terms of the game itself though um once i start off and get to cover kokoshov or how you pronounce it the starting town i'm just gonna leave and then go get the, all the waypoints i can get besides the stronghold ones because i lack equipment for that stuff um once i start off i'm gonna go around get all the waypoint and the altar of lilith so i'm gonna post the like the snapshot of all the liliths for act one at least get that because um, when I was playing in the beta, I actually got to level 20 just looking for Lilibs, you know, running around, doing side quests along the way, only along the way, and just killing things and do war events along the way while just getting the altar of Lilibs. And they actually give you permanent stat boost if you didn't know, and it gives EXP, and it'll help you with your uh, region unlock. So I believe at around like the third part of the region unlock per area. You can get like extra skill points and obviously if you get more you get paragon points right you go all the way in um for world three and world tier four so you get a, at least a step ahead since you get these passive stats right off the bat so i may be level 20 but i feel like a level 25 or something because of all these extra stats that i got so after i get that i'm just gonna head through straight to act two where the druid boons since i'm going to be maining druid that's what i'm going for i'm going shapeshift the druid build so i'm actually going for wind shear because i like this new generation just level one and then i'm actually gonna make my way to just getting like the werebear stuff pulverize uh, i'm actually getting the urban bulwark so that has to change me to a human form so my build is pretty much shapeshifting between human and Werebear. A lot of switching back and forth between that. So I'm getting a lot of the buffs that give me shapeshifting buffs when I shapeshift or get out of shapeshift or change forms or whatever. Um, and I'm just going to get Trample. I don't know what ultimate I'm getting yet, so I'm kind of um, thinking about what I want to do with that. But we'll see. Uh, and then, so I'm going to straight to Act 2 so I can unlock the Spirit Boons thing so I can start touching that. I, we play a lot of Act 1 in the fracture peaks of like the open beta the early access beta the service land i can do that later i want to get to the new stuff first so that's what i'm going to do um but along the way to get into act two there is a dungeon i do want to do in act one i almost forgot um the one dungeon that actually gives you um the barrier when you damage an elite so that's the number one thing to do if you go to the codex of power you can actually look it up and get that, um, click on it, it'll tell you what dungeon it is in, and then you just go to that one. So along the way to Act 2, I'm going to go to that one first before leaving the area, and then we'll come back to this. And, and then from there, I'll just see how things go, because everything will be kind of new. Uh, hopefully I can play with some friends, party up. Um, I'm going to try to see who's playing 
on launch exactly june 1st 4 p.m pacific um if not i'm just gonna be streaming and then whoever wants to come in and jump in we can do party things together it's not that bad doing solo but you do get the party exp um in there and then as long as i'm also doing it i want to make sure upgrade my potion and get the potion to get the exp boost right at the potion alchemist guy in the main town and so also game to act two will get you the mount don't forget that right so gotta get unlocked that first um but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed my talk and i'll see you guys on the upload four yeah later days